Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. It's X Atlas here, and I'm here to bring you the top five familiars for which on Lava Valley. I am currently top 17 in our server as an F2P, and I'm showing this to you guys so you'll know that I myself have experienced how good these familiars that I'm about to show you. So, before I forgot, uh, please like and subscribe if you like content like this. I frequently post tips and any other kind of content connected to Nino Kuni. So with that, let's get started. So at the top of our list, it's Stagthorn. Stagthorn is a earth type, defense type uh, familiar. So let's go to your skills. Skills is Stagthorn's heart. So all of elemental damage taken uh, will have a negative one percent for each um, earth familiar. For example, you have um, Stagthorn, and you partnered him with a. Uh, Ouroboros or other earth type familiars if we give them each negative one percent for uh, Earth familiar on your team on your familiar So if you have three familiars equipped that is earth type you would get negative three percent damage taken and also um, knockdown subdue impact and pushback uh, has a more resist rate so if someone use a knockdown or subdue impact and pushback to you you will have 20% more uh, chance to avoid it for our next one is for his next skill it's divine protection so divine protection uh, decreases the partner's damage taken which is your character you would get a negative 12.5% minus damage taken so imagine you partnered it with this you would uh, get 15.5% uh, negative damage taken uh, if you equip 3 earth familiars for 7 seconds it's actually part of his active skill so you would only get to use this once you click stag Thorn's active skill so another thing is it instantly reflects the uh, damage taken that uh, your damage taken the damage that you take it will reflect it back to the enemies so another another thing that divine protection do is 5% chance to stun the target for five sec for one second so this is a great help especially if you combo it with nature's revenge nature's revenge deals to 72% of attack as AOE to enemies so it's just exactly as it said also it pulls enemies to stag down so it's like a destroyer skill it would pull you to your uh, to the familiar stag turn once you use his active so imagine um uh stag turn uses his active and the five percent chance also proc with your pull meaning once they get pulled they would also get stunned so it's a uh, good CC for setting up uh, for your team. So standing at the fourth of our list, it's Arachnis. Arachnis is a dark type and also an attack type familiar. Meaning he would focus more on the damaging side which is perfect for the witch. So for his first skill, it's the Arachnis heart. Damage to enemy player plus 3%. You should remember that enemy players, not mobs. Uh, on his second skill is Pierce. Arachnis summons a sharp thorn on the ground to pierce the enemy, dealing additional damage proportional to the max HP. If the enemy is a player, another thing to remember only a player. So it deals 36 attack damage per hit to a single enemy. Just single enemy, it's not an AOE. So if a target is a player, it would also deal 5% max HP as additional damage. So it actually focuses on the damaging side for the players, which means it's perfect for Lava Valley. And also it's perfect for witches, we know that witches focuses more on the damage. 
Black Seal is Shadow Thorn, deals 297 attack as an AoE damage to his enemy. So an AoE do damage, meaning um, the Pierce would only hit a single enemy for 386, and the other the others would get 297 attack as an AoE damage. So if you got hit by a Shadow Thorn. Uh, it increases the target's damage taken by 20%, meaning the enemies would be more fragile for 6 seconds. So, standing at the third of our list, it's Hippocampus. Hippocampus is a water type and also an attack type familiar, meaning he would be focusing more on the damaging side, just like Arachnis. So, Hippocampus Heart for his first passive skill. Hippocampus Heart is just like Stagthorn's passive where it increases by 1% each water familiar that is equipped. If Hippocampus is on the uh, on your familiar deck, you would get 1% um, uh, increased damage per water familiar that is on your team, meaning you would get 3% if there are 3 water familiar on your team. So Water Sprout. For his active skill, Water Sprout, uh, enemies would get silenced if they get hit by his AoE active skill. So that's all. It's Water Sprout. Silence for 3 seconds. Torrent. For his third skill, Torrent deals 70% of attack as an AoE damage per hit to the enemies. So the most important thing for his Torrent is that it pulls enemies towards the center. Also, just like Stagthorns, uh, it increases the damage by 25% to frostbitten enemies, meaning they will be fragile, more fragile if they are frostbitten. So, on the second of our list, it's Bunny Bot. Bunny Bot is a support type and also a light type familiar. So, we're going to discuss Bunny Bot's heart. Uh, it increases all damage proportional to the number of attack familiars equipped. Meaning that if you have someone like Arachne or Might, you would get increased 2% damage for each of them. So at max, you would get 4% if you have 2 attack familiar. You wouldn't get anything for Bunnybot as he is a support tab. So also, uh, Bunnybot's heart would also decrease all count with call Crowd control duration by 7%. Rearm, his active skill. Once you hit uh, Bunnybot's active skill, Rearm would be activated where he would create a shield for that is equal to 10% of max HP for 7 seconds. And also it would increase the resistance, your resistance to stun, knockdown, and subdue for 50%. So if you somehow got stunned, you would get this decreased stall gun control effects by 7% which is very helpful for um, witches because you sometimes have to go in to deal damage to the enemies. So also another active skill of free arm is it increases the damage to stunned enemies. Uh, so so rearm would be a great combo for our stun skills which we have a lot of on witches. For our third skill it's absolute defense. Absolute defense, uh, Bunnybot would create a shield and it would protect you for 5 seconds and 5 attacks coming in from the enemies. And also, it, it increases all elemental status effect resist by 25% while the ship is still active. So it would only affect you for 5 seconds. So as you can see, Vonnybot is perfect for us aggressive witches. Uh, because once you go in, you wouldn't die easily because of Vonnybot's active and passive skills. So at the number one of our list, it's Molten Lion. Molten Lion is a fire type and also a defense type familiar. Uh, his skill says Molten Lion's Heart for his passive skill. Uh, it's also like Stagthorn and Hippocampus passive but instead you would get negative 1% damage for each 
power familiar that is equipped so an example of this would be might and any other far familiar it would work and also it increases all elemental damages when your hp is below 20 percent so you will know why it's useful when we get to this second skill eternal flame uh when you click um molten lions uh active you would become immortal if you your hp drops below to one so if you're about to die you need to click the eternal flame so that you would become immortal for 2.5 seconds and your fire attack would be increased by 10 percent once the 2.5 seconds is done you would restore 7.5 percent of your max hp meaning uh you would still be alive for a long time and final plane it's a passive this is uh, the most powerful skill of mountain lion as once your hp hit 10 percent you will get seven seconds of immortality just like eternal flame but it is a passive so it would automatically activate once your uh, hp hit 10 percent or below also it increases the attack speed by 25 percent and basic attack damage by 50% for the duration so it's like your last stand uh, you would get a lot of great buffs would, which would actually turn the tides of the battle even a 1v3 uh, I think that anyone with a molten lion could actually still win it and if you perfectly time it with your eternal plane you're active you would get additional 2.5 seconds of immortality so you would get to live longer meaning you there's uh, still a lot of chance for you to deal deal out a lot of damage and those are the top five uh, familiars that i recommend for witches to use on lava body uh, yeah say goodbye sparky yeah he still doesn't talk <laughs>